Yeah, um, feels really good. Uh, I played well all day, kept in play, made a bunch of putts, and I'm really happy to shoot um, two under. Uh, I've never played the back nine here, so it was, a, it was a great day. I'm feeling really good, and I'm really excited to play tomorrow. Um, I definitely put in a lot more putts than I thought I was going to today, and my approach shots were really good, and yeah. Actually, the course was really nice. I was really excited to play, and I mean, it couldn't have really been in better condition. I was really happy with it. It's awesome. The course is in great shape. Uh, greens are good. Fairways are soft. I mean, it's, it's just in great condition. My appreciation to the country club and the members out here for letting us play this week. Um, it feels good. I had a lot of short wedges in my hand, which was definitely an advantage. And I had a great time playing out there, so I just hope to continue the good play throughout the rest of the tournament. The stevia is amazing. Um, I have a buddy that, or a cousin that lives in um, Birmingham and so they've always said that this is one of the nicest courses in the area and so whenever I saw it on the uh, list of like the schedule on AJG I definitely wanted to play it and it didn't disappoint. Um, the greens are fantastic and the weather was pretty bad today but um, it was still like the greens were still really fast even though they were really wet. So I would like to thank Elliot Jones and Stuart Sank for making this tournament possible. They have both put in a bunch of hard work and I know that all of the tournament players are very grateful for them because we're having a bunch of fun out here and we wouldn't have it without them. Feels great. I uh, shot my personal best on the home course uh, today, actually, nine under. Uh, I've shot eight under in tournament a couple of times, uh, but nine under bogey free definitely felt great, especially making like a four footer on the last hole. Uh, that's all I could think about. Um, but yeah, it feels awesome. God, I mean, my faith is one of my biggest things that I rely on. Um, and so anytime I had a nervous shot, I just, I just had to be faithful. And um, my dad, my mom, they've, they've, to me at every tournament, like you got to thank them. Um, and then just the membership here. Uh, everyone, you know, always encouraging me and uh, the win here is, just feels awesome. I feel really good. It was a long week with the rain delay yesterday and the greens were really slopey and tricky out here. So it definitely feels good and a boost of confidence to get the win. Get your confidence going. Hopefully, I can keep this up. You know, get that putter a little bit more worked out, and should be shooting six five under again. Then the two song. I think if I can just keep the ball in the fairway, I'm a long hitter. So if I can keep it in the fairway, control it, and then make putts, then that's a good recipe for success. So. Uh, it's pretty good, and it's like everything is great. And I, I fixed my my arm problem yesterday. And Almost every shot is straight, and uh, I, I, I putting many short putts. I didn't miss any putts in five feet, so it's really an uh, important thing to 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 to, to get a slow, slow score like this. I think the part, best part today is uh, is chipping. Yeah, I, I I made all up and downs and uh, only missed one and uh, chipped in the birdie. I just want to play my game like these past two days and not think about it too much. And the volunteers and um, the staff were really friendly and they helped us maintain a good pace on the course so we finished before the heat. I feel really good because I played really well this week and um, just to think that um, I broke the record. Um, I think my putting was pretty good today, and uh, obviously I hit my shots into the greens pretty close too, which gave me those opportunities. Yeah, feels good. Um, putter's putter's hot. I love these greens. Uh, I love. Yeah, these bent greens are perfect, and um, lots of scoring opportunities out there. I felt like I, yeah, I just gave gave myself lots of opportunities and. Um, Closed on most of them, so feels great. Um, I obviously played, yeah, I played really well all week. Putter was, uh, putter was really hot. I struck the ball well. I struck the ball fairly normal. I mean, I, I yeah, just putter, putter was on. It really was, and uh, really liked those greens. Thought I could read them really well, and uh, yeah, be aggressive, be confident, and yeah, I was. 
yeah, it's big. I got a few AM events, so yeah, to keep that confidence and um, just know I'm scoring well. And uh, yeah, keep it, keep it rolling, keep it together. This course suited my game pretty well because driver's kind of in a struggle recently and you didn't need to hit it that much. Uh, I hit two iron ten times off the tee and just played it in the middle of the fairway. It means a lot to qualify to this event. Um, this was my first AJGA and my first qualifier and so it's really amazing that uh, the first try um, that I got in. Um, it's also cool because now my brother and I get to both play in it because my brother got into the tournament and so I got into it too. So. I get to play like at the same time as him. Qualifying is is really important to me. Um, I'm, I'm super excited, super happy to play at a Scarlet uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, I'm also just happy to have a really good round in an AJGA qualifier. Well, AJGA, it's a staple name. Um, it's probably the biggest junior tour in the country. Um, so to play and place first in one of these qualifiers is really important. So I, I appreciate the opportunity. Qualifying into this event, I mean, you have a lot of really good players, so it's really good competition. It means a lot to me that the JES Foundation is supporting Ohio Golf in the AJGA. Qualifying into this event is really exciting. I know it's a great tournament, and it's always good to play in an AJGA. To me, it means a lot because it was at Scarlet where I'll be playing next year, and I was really looking forward to this event last year, but I wasn't able to play in it, so it really meant a lot to, for me to win this event this year. I really was looking forward to this event and really wanted to go out on top, and it was like working hard in my practice for the last week. I was like, oh, this is the event I want to win because it'll be at my home course, and I want to show that I can win and play well on this course to other people. It means a lot to have the JES be a benefiting partner in this event because I personally knew Jack and was friends with him and when I heard the news it was pretty much heartbroken because I knew he was such a good kid so it's a good charity that it goes to and they're going to do great things as they build it up and move along down the years. Good morning and welcome to the AJGA Hell Irwin Colorado Junior. This is the 7 a.m. tea time. It's super fun, it's narrow, it's a challenge. Um, kind of tests my game a little bit and it helps me with my golf game and the practice facility is also really nice. It's pretty exciting. Um, I'm excited to just play in the tournament and hopefully I can perform well. I definitely scrambled. I didn't hit as many greens as I normally do but my chipping was good and I made a lot of putts. I think I played pretty good. I played a lot of consistent golf. I have been lately. Just kind of kept the ball in play, kept it in the fairway, middle of greens, didn't go with tucked pins or anything like that. Just played conservative but aggressive when I needed to. The course is beautiful. I love the uh, layout. It reminds me of like Chambers Bay a little bit. And that's like my favorite course in the world. So this is one of my top courses I've ever played. So I'm excited for it. I uh, putted really well today. I didn't miss many putts inside like 10, eight feet. Uh, and that was, it's just, it's easy to get in a rhythm when you just are making the short ones and the ones that really count. Well, um, I thought my putting was definitely my best. Um, I was dropping a lot of putts, and yeah, I was really proud of my work too this week. The first day I was just dropping every putt I had, which was really nice. Um, yeah, I think my mental game was really good too. It feels great. We posted some good, good scores in some other tournaments, so that helped the confidence build up to be able to feel like we can come out here and compete at a high level. I set a personal record. Um, I actually went bogey free, which is the first time I've done it, and I'm super glad to have been able to do it here, and especially at actually one of my first opens. I think I played pretty well. I mean, the course was playing kind of tough with the fast screens, but I think I played pretty well. Yeah, the driver was, was good today. There's um, a lot of bunkers. Um, you know, in the fairway, kind of in the landing area of where, you know, my driver is. So it's important to, to keep it straight, but I felt like I did a good job of that today. It, the, it's really nice. The greens are fast. It's hard to get up and down because, like, it's, you can't really get much spin or check. Um, so I think it's important to hit a lot of greens. Nothing changes. Just stick with the game plan. I'm just now, like, starting to get the mental side of the game. I think my yardage control is a little better today, which is why I was able to have more birdie chances, um, which helps quite a bit. Nothing changed, just I just kept playing my game. These past few days I played like 
48 holes in one day, and then the next day I play like 29 holes. It feels good. It feels really great to know that all the work, the practice I had, um, get got some results, and I'm really happy about that. Feels really good because it's my it's the first AJGF qualified for. I've tried a couple times before and I've come really close, but to finally breakthrough feels really good. It feels pretty good. Uh, last year I had kind of a rough season, but this year I'm kind of bouncing back and really finding like my groove, I guess you could say. So I mean, it just feels nice to actually put together good rounds. It's helped my golf career because it's it's helped me improve because I play against such high-level golfers and it really makes me want to do better. It means a lot for me to win this tournament. You know, as one as a Virginia guy coming down here and staying in my state and being able to win a tournament means a lot for me. Belonto to host this event, him being a PGA Tour player and for him to be from the state of Virginia, it means a lot and he's a great role model for all of us and it's really awesome that he hosted this event. To win this tournament, it means a lot to me. Uh, it's my senior year, my last summer playing junior golf, so to actually win an AJGA, it's truly amazing. For the 2022 season, or just to play like some really solid golf again, um, one of my goals was to shoot under par for every round in a tournament, so I did one already, um, and I hope I can just keep doing that. Yeah. I had a really nice round. Uh, I was definitely in the zone, and my putter was doing really great, so. Yeah, everything was pretty solid. Drove the ball pretty well, irons were good. Putter finally woke up for me, which was a nice thing, so everything kind of came together. The round today was a lot different. The course was playing a lot different. It was a lot more windy today. Uh, my, I just tried to stay stable. Front nine, and I was having difficulties hitting shots, making putts, so I was just trying to par my way through that one, because I knew back nine was definitely more gettable and accessible. Definitely the whole AGGA staff was awesome this week. And I really appreciate you guys. Getting in the pins, attacking the pins that are accessible was just very important. Uh, the winds and conditions today were kind of difficult for everyone, so I knew it was going to be difficult, but I knew there's some holes out here that are more accessible than others. Um, I was just always just, let's, let's try and get this going. Like, even if I'm a little behind, like, I always try and attack what I need to.